Well hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we're talking about a battery charger not just any battery charger, a 1S battery charger Now most people, myself included, you know, has a pot full of little 1S batteries that I use for my whoops and the only uh, way I ever charging them was with this a little USB charger that plugs into a into the phone charger in the wall and charge my batteries. Now these were great for charging your batteries but the problem was when you finished flying your, uh, your batteries were just whatever voltage you were finished at there was no way to uh, put them at storage charge. Now I've just uh, got this this is a new battery charger from Vifly it's called the Whoop Star so we'll uh, have a quick look what's in the box and we'll try her out. <laughs> So let's have a quick look what you got in the box. Looks like your little instruction manual. A thank you card. USB cable. The charger itself. And that's it. Well, if we give the uh, Charge a quick inspection just to see what it looks like. You can see there, big heat sink underneath. There's your, uh, you've got six plugs for a JSD connector, and then six plugs on the top for the BT 2.0 connector. Now, that doesn't mean you can actually charge 12 batteries because plug one there and plug one there are actually the same plug, so you can only put one battery in at a time. Big heat sink, looks like it's uh, for discharging the batteries. Okay, that's your start stop button. You switch there for uh, high voltage and normal voltage, you know, 4.2 and 4.35. There's a reset button at the top there, the screen. We'll have a look at that when we power it on. And talking of power, you can actually power this three separate ways. If you look on the side there, you can uh, power it by uh, LiPo. I'm not sure what uh, what size they are. I'll uh, I'll find out and put it up here. And then you've got your uh, barrel connector. You know your power supply for your lipo charger and stuff like that. And then there's the USB-C connector. So what we'll do now, we'll uh, put some power to it, stick some batteries in, and uh, give it a test run. Right. So we'll uh, plug a lipo in now, power it up, and have a look. There you go, your little display screen there, telling you all your information you need. Good thing is it also tells you the uh, voltage of the LiPo you plugged in. Now this one's on storage charge at a minute, so, but I won't be charging any batteries fully with it. So Yeah, on the display there you can see it gives you your, uh, your amp rating there as well. I think you can change that. It goes from 0 0.2 to 0 0.9. Currently there, HV, so you're charging to high volt, but you can alter that with that switch. High volt or low volt, so 4.35 to 4.2. Your uh, readings there for each part, and when you plug your batteries in, it'll tell you what they are. So we'll plug uh, quickly plug one in now, so we can have a quick look. There we go. You see that uh, that battery's at just about storage voltage, which is uh, surprising considering that uh, before I got this, I never had any way to storage charge these. I just used to fly them and guess. So looking at that, that's not a bad guess. But yeah, that's a. Uh, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, that's one of the main things with this. You know, you see this little switch on the side there. Currently, it's it's set to full. So if I charge that battery, it it charge it to uh, four point three five volts. But if I flick it across to storage, you see there, changes it now. It'll either charge or discharge this battery to storage voltage. Now that's a good thing because it'll make your uh, your one S batteries last a lot longer. And as you can see there, I've just plugged a, a few extra batteries in there just to test it out. Now one thing that is good about this, if, if you take this out with you, you can just uh, you can actually use this as a battery checker and all. If you power it up and plug your batteries in, it'll tell you the voltage that each one's currently at, which is uh, is quite handy. Now as I said before as well, you know, this is not just a, a battery charger or storage charger as well. If you see that battery there, number three, is actually... Uh, 
at 4.0506 volts. Now this, because this has this big heat sink in as well, it'll actually discharge your batteries as well as charge them up. So if you happen to charge a load of batteries and you don't use them, you can plug this in and this will discharge them with storage voltage for you. Bit of a silly thing really, but this is a battery charger review and I never actually showed you it charges a battery, so... <laughs> Plug it back in, power her up, just put this battery in port 4 here, so as you can see that one's at 3.76, now this is a 300 milliamp power battery so we'll put that to 0 0.3 amps, it is a high volt battery, so now that everything's right all you do, hold the button down and there you go, charging, easy as that. You can see, I don't know if you can see it on the camera there, there's actually a little light there to show you that that port's in use. And then same thing again, just stop it, hold it down, and it stops charging. Now if I wanted to storage charge that, I'd move the little switch on the bottom there, move it across so there you can see now that's changed to storage charge. And the same again, hold the button down, and the battery's going to storage charge. Just a quick change there, one thing I did notice that I said earlier on you could uh, power it by three methods on there. Now I don't know whether this is just mine or not, but using a power bank into the USB-C port. When I plug mine in by USB-C using a power bank, it uh, goes to ready to download. Now I can only assume this is uh, some way of up updating the firmware, so it doesn't look like you can actually power it by the USB-C. Now as most of you know, whether it's a 4S or a 1S battery, LiPo's have a limited lifespan. Now if you charge these up and leave them fully charged, you can damage them, reduce that lifespan. So it's always a good idea if you're going to leave them alone for a good while, a week, two weeks, three weeks, wherever, to put them at storage charge. Now usually with my 1S batteries I didn't usually bother, I just used to fly them, go down to about 3.5, let them recover after I've finished and then chuck them in a tub. That was it. But with this new charger from Vifly, you have the ability to put them at storage charge. So it could double the lifespan. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you like the look of this charger, I'll put a link down in the video description to somewhere you can buy it from. Now, these links uh, are affiliate links, and what that means is you click on the link, buy your charger or anything, do your shopping, check out, and I'll get a little commission. It doesn't cost you a penny. And it helps the channel out massively. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please think about giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. And we'll see you in the next one. Whether it's a 4S or a what? Shit.